All right, so recently ABC posted up this interview of a, uh, of a gay veteran asking Mitt Romney about marriage, specifically asking him about whether or not um, some of the perks that come along with marriage would be extended to gay people. And here's what I think is one of the most interesting parts of the clip. So let's go ahead and take a look. The uh, Defense of Marriage Act uh, that exists in Washington uh, today defines uh, uh, benefits, uh, for whether for veterans or for non-veterans, as between uh, married spouses, and for me that's a man and a woman. And, and we apparently disagree on that, but it's, it's one of the I did you catch that? Let's play that one more time. Between uh, married spouses, and for me, that's a man and a woman. And, and we apparently no, disagree on that, but it's one of the religious. No, you guys were not having a religious disagreement just then. You were having a discussion about policy, law, and the definition of marriage. Now, it is true that there are different religious definitions of marriage, but you guys were not talking about the religious definition of marriage at all. You were talking about the secular definition of marriage. Now, here's an easy way to tell the difference between the two different kinds of definitions. Marriage, in its uh, most basic religious sense, is a sacred and holy union. Now, there are different religious definitions of marriage simply because there are different religions, and different religions are going to have different views about what is sacred and holy. Um, for example, a stereotypical understanding of um, which unions are sacred and holy in Christianity is going to be a, a union between one man and one woman. Now, in another religion, like Mormonism, ironically, um, they may perceive a sacred and holy union to be between, or possibly between, a man and multiple women. Same thing goes for Islam. Um, since there are so many different religions, there are going to be different conceptions of what is sacred and holy, and therefore there's going to be different uh, religious definitions of marriage. But the government is not interested in uh, picking and choosing a particular religious conception of marriage and going with that. I mean, we have this thing called separation of church and state, after all. Um, that means the government is not able or interested in determining what is sacred and holy. It is completely beyond the government's scope. Um, it's just not in their job description. So the discussion about gay marriage taking place is one about law and secular policy. It's not about what is sacred and holy, or even about what is moral. Now, those discussions are important, but they just aren't relevant to determining our legal policy. Um, those are fine topics to explore, uh, but those are just not what the government should be interested in. Something like what is sacred and holy is simply not something that laws can or even try to comment on. Alright guys, so the point I really want to hammer home here is that the gay veteran and Mitt Romney were not having a religious disagreement. Now they may actually have religious disagreements, I suspect they aren't the same religion, but uh, that disagreement is entirely irrelevant to what they were actually discussing. discussing. They were talking about um, social contracts and which social contracts the government is going to provide legal perks to. That's an entirely secular conversation. Um, now, they could, they could disagree about that, but they can't disagree about it for religious reasons. Religion tells us what is sacred and holy, and individuals decide for themselves which religion they think is most probable. And the government, well, the government just stays out of it. Now, if you guys are interested in more of my thoughts on uh, these types of topics, I've done uh, several videos on these in the past. I've done one discussing the difference between uh, morality and law. I have one exploring the difference between um, the sacred and secular. And then one uh, actually critiquing the notion, uh, or e examining the notion, that uh, as to whether or not marriage is a human right. So if you're interested in any of those videos, go ahead and uh, click the links. And as always, test everything, hold on to the good.